It's all about entertainment. You know? Give me a space and I'll perform. <laughs> Have microphone, we'll travel. Check, one, two. <laughs> Although usually the employee will provide the microphone. It's part of the condition of employment. What a lovely morning it is for a bargain shoppers. And come on in, we've got handbags and shoes and leather goods, such as handbags and shoes. Backstage, hey? Uh, good place to focus on the gig. I like to uh, do a few vocal exercises just to get the, the old uh, brain ticking over. Hit a pepper, pick the pepper, peppering. Pepper, butter gutter, butter gutter, pirate peppering Peter's peppers, selling excels to see space sick by the seaside. Well, we'll change. Well, Jane, I've told you before, dressing rooms are for customers only, yeah? Get changed in the car if you have to. There is respect between Darren and myself. He knows I'm the best in the biz and he respects that. So what are we uh, hard selling today? What? What do you want me to hard sell out there on the front line? Look, I don't give a toss. You go out there, you get people to come into my shop, yeah? Okay, yeah, keep it simple. I like that instruction. Now, I'm thinking about doing some uh, topical stuff. I've been watching a comedy channel. People love that stuff. No, I don't want topical stuff. You just stand there and tell people we've got the lowest prices, yeah? It ain't rocket science. <laughs> Completely different set of skills. Gotcha. Yep. Real bargains. I know a lot of you are walking out here today. Uh, it's probably because of the high petrol prices. Uh, the petrol prices are so high, my uh, little brother has started chroming. <laughs> Yeah, but on the upside though, I hear petrol prices are so high in America that the uh, drive-by shootings have gone down because the blacks can't afford the gas. So, <laughs> I'm only saying... Listen, it's simple. We sell stuff, it's cheap, we want the people to buy it, yeah? That's the message. Simple, yeah? Well, you would think that because you've never worked in showbiz. Darren underestimates the value of a good spruker. Granny Mays would love to have me working for them. I could have Tandy on the line and I could be at the front of their store spruking pocket calculators within 10 minutes. Although I, um, I may have to walk there, uh, you know, with petrol prices being the way they are. <laughs> Showbiz. Last chance, yeah? Come in, shoppers. Uh, sir, sir, would you like to come in and buy a handbag uh, for your wife? Oh, because you're a tough guy, you don't want to buy a handbag for your wife because tough guys don't buy handbags. Is that it? You don't want to seem like a pansy. Have you mates got your pansy? Is that it? Is that it? You're fired! <laughs> Darren Goldspink quit spruiking after Granny Mays sacked him for doing jokes about the Bali Nine whilst trying to sell snow domes. Currently busking and writing for Bert's Family Feud, he is still yet to work in showbiz.